All right, so now that we have our nav bar, I want to go over wave effects, uh, parallax, and scroll spy. So right now, when we click on these, we do have that nice hover where we, it indicates you know this is what you're uh, linking to if you click on it. Um, Materialize has this really cool effect, waves. Where if you just add this class, waves effect, waves light, to your code, button large, I guess, would make the button really big. So you get this effect. See that wave that it happens? So, and then I guess you can change the colors. So you have a red effect, yellow effect, orange, purple, green, and teal. And default is gray. Cool. I'm going to add the circle buttons too. OK, so let's put this effect in our nav bar. Let's just do these two first. The nav bar just waves effect. Let's copy. Let's see, would that go in each one of these? Class equals, actually, I think it would go in the li. Class equals, let's try this. Refresh. There we go. So we have that cool little wave effect. Um, let's see, what color is chilies? Red and green. So, what was the documentation? Waves dash red. Waves dash red. Save that and refresh. Okay, cool. Um, So let's give our nav bar a color red too. So colors, CSS, color. Let's do a soft red. Okay. Nav class equals this one. Okay, cool. And then let me just give this a title so I can find it easier in my browser. Chilies. So when you put something in your title, instead of the file name appearing in the browser, if you refresh this, it's actually what you put in the title tag. Cool. Okay, so that's wave effects. Let's go on to parallax. So when we open, when we use parallax, we get uh, to put like a nice little image, and then as you scroll, it gives us an effect where the background image uh, moves at a slower pace than the rest of the web page. So it gives that really cool um, scrolling effect. So one thing to keep in mind is, in order to do this you have to actually put something in your custom script first, which is this. So we go to our scripts file, and we paste that code right in there. Now, we can open the demo. Oh, I have it open already here. We can copy this code. And we'll put it right below our nav bar. So I'm going to use main tags to indicate that this is the main part of the website. I'm going to just make sure that my indentation is correct. Save that. Um, so we would need images first. Obviously, these images here don't exist for me. That's just for the demo on um, Materializes site. Oops. 
Where is it? Open in browser. Refresh. Okay, good. So those images don't work. We have to find images on our own. So let me find Chili's. I don't know if they'll let me steal their images. Nope. Okay. Um, appetizers. No. Chili's. Here we go. Images. Oh yeah. One thing to consider is that uh, you probably want uh, large images because it's going to take up the entire width of your screen. So I always do search tools and switch the size to large. By default, I think it's just any size. And then from here, let's find a nice picture. This looks good. So you can see the width is 2000, so that should be good for our needs. So I'm going to copy this and get rid of this. Save it and refresh. There we go. So now we have one image. Let's do entrees. Uh, where's my search? Here we go. Entrees. Okay, this looks good. So you can see this is a large size also, so this should work for our needs. Copy this. And then paste over the placeholder. Save it. And refresh. Cool. And then we have this effect with two images now. And then in between you can just write your text. This would be appetizers. Here you would probably put some text um, or other stuff about appetizers. Save that and refresh. And then you probably want another of this section. So we're going to copy this div section white and put it underneath the second image and then this would be for entrees. Refresh. Okay, good. So this is the beginning of a web page um, using Parallax. We'll, I mean, using Materialize, we'll continue this uh, more and more as I do more demonstrations. Um, let me just show you Scroll Spy. Scroll Spy. Now there's no demo for this one. Okay, so just like Parallax, you need to include this code into your scripts file. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it here. It's also good to comment so you know what each of these are doing. So I'm just going to write um, for parallaxing images. And then this I'll write to scroll um, to a section from navbar. Okay, good. So using Scroll Spy, we're going to let's see. Okay, so we have to give an ID and then a class for each section. So let's say here, oops, here, I'm going to do ID equals appetizers. 
and then the word scroll spy as a class. And then here I'll do ID equals equals entrees. And then here I'll type in scroll spy. And then here where I had commented these out or um, hashtag exclamation point these before, I'll type in what was it? Uh, the name of the ID with a hashtag in front of it. So appetizers and then entrees. So the only one that will probably work is entrees because when you start you're already at appetizers. Let's see what it does. So now if I click on appetizers, okay, so it scrolls directly to appetizers and when I click on entrees, it scrolls directly to entrees. It would scroll further but I didn't give it enough space so this is the bottom of the page. But that's what Scroll Spice does. It, instead of linking you to a completely different page, it just scrolls to a certain section on the current page. Any questions? Alrighty, that was a, a long demo. But uh, yeah, let me stop.